We have so many different cultures that are represented all across Canada. And what about the First Nations food? There's like Cree, Ojibwe, Mohawk, all these different tribes of First Nations people all across Canada. And uh, if there is one thing that we all have in common, it would be the bannock. It's a bread. <laughs> it's made with baking powder instead of yeast. It's more denser. Flour, baking powder, salt, um, some uh, vegetable oil, and water. That's it. When I grew up, almost everyone had a big pot of tea on their stove. Oh my god, all the time. All the time. <laughs> so whenever you visit someone, it's always over tea and bannock. A lot of the customers, what they know is very limited, or but they have so many questions and they want to know more. And I have that opportunity here. It's yummy. First Nations people are the most generous, big-hearted people that I know, you know, and they're always there to offer a helping hand. And for some people, they still think like, it's just people that are somewhere off somewhere, right? But there's so many First Nations people even within the city now. Even yesterday, this lady's like, where are you from? What res are you from? And I'm like, Toronto. No, that's my res. <laughs> She's like, no, where are you from? I said, Toronto. So I was born and raised. So I was born at Mount Sinai Hospital. <laughs> Put a lot of love into our food and we just have fun making it sometimes. <laughs> While our salad is ready, ready to go. See, I always like to try what I'm making. <laughs> Always got to have the first bowl. That's my tradition. We are proud of this business. It's a gem, I could say, you know? It's a rare jewel, like a gem in, in a big city. You just got to find it. <laughs>